Hello, I'm Mombi Rella. Welcome to A Tale as Old as Time. Please remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to keep up to date on all the new and upcoming videos. And now, Poor Unfortunate Soul, Tale of the Sea Witch by Serena Valentino. Copyright, Disney Enterprises Incorporated, 2016. Chapter 13, Prince Popinjay's Regret. Dearest Princess Tulip Morningstar, it is with deepest regret to you and your family that I write you this missive that I should have behaved so dastardly is an utter mystery to me and leaves me feeling quite ashamed. My only defense, a poor one, is that I was quite unlike myself when performing those actions. Indeed, it felt as if I were possessed by another and unable to enforce my own will. I must assure you, madam, that actions such as these are entirely out of my nature, all except for my proclamations of love for you, though I might have chosen a more suitable fashion to declare them. I must confess that I have loved you for some time, ever since I saw you on the shores of your father's lands, coming forth from the sea like a silent morning goddess. I have loved you, as you flourished into a strong, intelligent young woman. I have intended to present myself to your father's court, in the proper manner, to be introduced officially, so you may consider a courtship. But I fear recent events have sullied your view of me. If that is the case, dear princess, I will not repudiate your feelings. I only want to bestow my deepest regrets and sincerest feelings of love and devotion to the most intriguing young woman I have ever had the pleasure of laying eyes upon. Always at your service, Prince Popinjay. Tulip sat gobsmacked with the letter from Prince Popinjay in her hands. She hadn't the words to tell Nanny what he'd written. She hadn't fully processed what it meant, so she simply handed the letter over so Nanny might read it herself. Well, he is rather gifted at expressing himself. Better, I dare say, than he is at ramming down castle gates. Tulip was still in a daze. Nanny, do you think what he says is true? Were those men under some sort of enchantment? Nanny knew very well they had been. Yes, my dear, they were. Tulip looked at her skeptically. Why didn't you say so before? Nanny sighed. Because, my dear, you would have given me the look you're giving me now. Like poor Nanny has lost her mind. And honestly, I had more pressing matters at hand, trying to summon Cersei and contending with Ursula when she showed up in Cersei's place. But trust me, my darling girl, those men were enchanted, and your prince can hardly be held accountable for his actions. Tulip's face squished up with displeasure. He's not my prince, Nanny laughed. If you say so, dear, but he sounds very much like your prince to me. Tulip hated this feeling. The last time she had felt this way, she'd been utterly humiliated and deeply hurt. She couldn't imagine allowing herself to be charmed by another handsome man, only to be broken-hearted again. But she was different now, wasn't she? Stronger, bolder, and indeed more worldly. And it seemed those were the very qualities the prince admired in her. I wish Cersei were here, Nanny. She'd know what I should do. And Nanny sighed. I believe Cersei would tell you to write this gentleman back, thank him for his kind words, and extend an invitation to tea. Tulip smiled. Do you really think so? I do, my dear. Then I think I will, said Tulip with a quick kiss for Nanny on her soft, powdery cheek. Then she dashed out of the room so she might write the letter. Nanny laughed. How she longed to see Tulip so happy again, and she felt Pop and Jay's intentions were honorable, but she'd better take a closer look at him, just in case. He's a fine fellow for a human, said Flans in Nanny's head, and I'm sure Tulip will be quite happy with him. But we have to focus on Cersei. I'm afraid she's in grave danger. I fear we all are. I agree with you, Flans, and I think we both know who is behind it. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell to keep up to date on all the new magic. Have a magical day.